पर आज हम एपिसोड कर रहे हैं पाकिस्तान के फर्स्ट हैंड ऑन एनिमेशन स्टूडियो के मालिक के साथ उस्मान रियाज यू नो इन दिस टेन ईयर जर्नी मैम डिड यू एवर डिसाइड टू क्विट मतलब यू नो कि यार अब बहुत हो गया यार मेरे से अब नहीं होता थोड़ा सा मैं कॉन्टेक्स्ट देता हूँ उस बात के बारे में कि दस साल पूरी जर्नी को लगे लेकिन फिल्म को हमने चार साल में बनाया जो कोर एनिमे फैंस है वो यही पूछ रहे हैं कि यू नो या ये इंग्लिश में बनाई गई है उर्दू में डब की गई है या उर्दू में बनाई है और इंग्लिश में डब की गई है English version was not the original version. ये फिल्म का बजट क्या है? It's not my place to say, but it was a substantial chunk. European के लिए फिल्म बनाने वो बनाने वाले तो नीचे comment पे लोग लिख रहे थे अपनी बनाई नहीं जा रही दूसरों की क्या बनाए गए? वेलकम टू आई ड्राइव पॉडकास्ट लेस टॉक दिस इज ये होस्ट मोहम्मद अफान और आज हम एपिसोड कर रहे हैं पाकिस्तान के फर्स्ट हैंड ऑन एनिमेशन स्टूडियो के मालिक के साथ उस्मान रियाज उस्मान रियाज थोड़ा सा अपना इंट्रोडक्शन दे दे जो लोग आपको नहीं जानते थैंक यू वेरी मच इट्स अ प्लेजर टू बी हियर मेरा नाम उस्मान रियाज है और मैं द ग्लास वर्कर का डायरेक्टर एनिमेटर और को कम्पोजर हूँ राइट तो यू नो उस्मान आई हैव नोन यू फ्रॉम एट ईयर्स नाउ हम बात कर रहे थे पहले बट जो लोग आपको नहीं जानते कि उस्मान रियाज कौन है बिफोर द ग्लास वर्क तो उससे थोड़ा सा बैकग्राउंड बता दे कि यू नो यहाँ तक कैसे जर्नी आई है आई हैव बीन मेकिंग थिंग्स सिंस आई वाज अ चाइल्ड दैट वाज माय स्केप फ्रॉम द वर्ल्ड आई एम आर्टिस्ट एंड अ कम्पोजर तो आई हैव ऑलवेज बिन ड्राइंग आई हैव बिन ड्राइंग सिंस आई कुड होल्ड अ पेंसिल आई हैव बिन प्लेइंग म्यूजिक सिंस आई वॉज फोर ईयर्स ओल्ड I grew up playing classical piano and then at the age of 16 I picked up guitar I started doing percussive guitar that's what allowed me to go to TED uh in 2012 I was also making my illustrations and learning art in school and making short films with my music so I got to showcase all of my work at the TED conferences Uh, as a TED fellow i was the youngest TED fellow ever selected and then 2 years later i was the youngest TED senior fellow ever selected huge honor that opened up my world but the dream always was ever since i was a child to do animated movies and mm-hmm. specifically hand drawn animated movies and i never thought it would be possible in pakistan uh, i always hoped that it would be i mm-hmm. wanted somebody to start a hand drawn animation studio and i said i would join in a heartbeat that never happened so then mariam my wife uh, and i said we'll just make our own and then i spoke to my cousin khizer convinced him to come on board and then the three of us embarked on this journey together to make a film called the glass worker that i have been working on since 2014 so i was right so- 23 years old when i started and i'm 33 now <laughs> acha but i wanted to ask you ki you know why you matlab you know i you told it ke na if someone start i'll join in a heartbeat but you know the glass worker is a film that could also be uh, built uh, you know live action matlab didn't you ever think ke yaar hum live action bana lete so the two short films i made prior to the glass worker were mm. live action but i planned them like animation mm. i storyboarded everything very meticulously uh i knew a lot of shots and exactly the framing that i wanted so when it came time to make this one with all of the fantastical things i wanted to put in it mm. live action would have been difficult mm. and also had i known that making the animation in pakistan would have been so hard that it would take 10 years maybe i would have considered live action but uh i love animation with all my heart i love 2d hand drawn animation so much and i'm very very grateful i got to work with a remarkable team in pakistan and a remarkable team internationally to bring this film to life and i i'm just humbled and grateful and tired at this point right <laughs> <laughs> But you know, in this ten-year journey, mm. ma'am, did you ever decide to quit? I mean, you know, that, yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, it's not easy for me. I give a little bit of context about this thing. That ten years is a whole journey, but we made the film in four years. So, from 2014 to 2018, we were all in the studio infrastructure. We were training people. We were training the team. We were training the team. टीम को बढ़ा रहे थे हम स्क्रीन प्ले को फाइनलाइज कर रहे थे और मैं स्टोरी बोर्ड्स अर्ली स्टोरी बोर्ड्स उस वक्त बना रहा था लेकिन फिर जब जेफरी वैक्सलर ऑन बोर्ड आ गए जब मोया ओशे ऑन बोर्ड आ गई और जब हमने स्क्रीन प्ले को रिफाइन किया वी हैड टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम स्क्रैच एंड देन फुल स्केल प्रोडक्शन बिगैन इन ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन एंड वी फिनिश द फिल्म एंड ट्वेंटी 
right so, and i'm sorry i didn't answer your question did, did i want to give up huh. at any time in the middle i mean there were moments where it was just so difficult that i would kind of go home and be like maine kya shuru kar diya hai main ye kyun kar raha hu this is so hard and maybe i'm just not meant to do it but then i would go to sleep with those thoughts and wake up and go back to work the next day with a renewed sense of uh, energy and also just forgetting what i was thinking earlier and just just keep moving forward the main thing for me just became just keep moving forward keep mm-hmm. keep your head down keep working eventually it has to finish there's no way it can't finish mm-hmm. and then with all of the amazing things that were happening all of the milestones we were hitting um especially when we presented the film at Annecy which is the biggest animation festival in the world in 2022 and to receive so much support from the animation community they were all so happy to see something like this being made that was truly heartwarming mm-hmm. and gave us the energy to keep moving forward and keep pushing through all of the the difficulties of making something like this in Pakistan and then we were done so it did finish at the end so Yes, I went through many moments where I was like why am I doing this? This is very difficult, but I'm very grateful to God that we were able to finish it and uh now people are enjoying it and I could not be more grateful. Right. It's matlab it, it's it's just that you know matlab hum baat kar rahe the you know eight you know you've been a motivation for a lot of thousands of students uh over the period of years I think eight years I've been following you from uh 2016. I watched your NSC's full uh, projection in 2021 and then uh, and then I've seen you and you know you have been there as a motivation for a lot of me and including me uh you know when every day that I think about it 3 years ago when I thought about what I wanted to do and I said you know abdul usman yaz ne apna kaam nahi kiya would I be able to do it oh wow and so I was thinking <laughs> you know but he, you never gave up I, i kept so i you know whenever i i, I felt demotivated ke yaar hum bhi are not making enough progress ke yaar hum aage ja rahe hain nahi ja rahe hain a lot of you know you see your colleagues uh, ke wo apni zindagi mein kya kya achievements yeah. kar rahe hain and then you see yourself ke yaar hum abhi tak wahi khade hue hain so yeah. matlab and that, and that's when when I, i saw you and you know you you've been continue doing and hum usko dekh rahe the yaar ke kar raha hai koshish kare ja raha hai and then he is not giving up and you know the same with us you know continue to try hame to teen hue aap to das ho chuke the so i want to actually ask you uh, how did you feel when we announced that the film is complete i was really happy thank you it was 8 years <laughs> it waited 8 years yeah. and and mujhe yaad hai ki jab aapne us release karne se pehle you were talking about this post ki aap pe ne european ke liye film banane wo banane wale तो नीचे कमेंट पे लोग लिख रहे थे अपनी बनाई नहीं जा रही yeah. दूसरों की क्या बनाएगा आई वाज थिंकिंग अब नीचे पे लोग दूसरे कमेंट डिफेंसिव भी हो गए थे बट यू नो एट दैट पॉइंट नेक्स्ट वीक फिर आपने रिलीज बता दिया कि यार हम स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं एंड रिलीज के लिए आई वाज रियली हैप्पी ऑन साइड थैंक यू नो दैट मींस अ लॉट बिकॉज़ I remember being at the Lyceum hmm. giving that talk about potentially people coming and uh, interning with huh. us and and just that was in 2016 that was 8 years ago but i remember that time very vividly i remember how tense it was and i also remember you which you reminded me that i said it'll take 5 years mm-hmm. uh, so we were projecting that it'll finish in 2021 not knowing it would take another 8 years so yeah it was i mean thank you for following the journey <laughs> and and being just supportive along the way it really means a lot because we made this film in a vacuum and mm. i was operating in a vacuum where it was just i'm sitting there at my table with my drawings and just slowly piece by piece putting this whole thing together and then working with so many people uh in the international space as well with all of our sound engineers and our composers and editors who worked on the film it was like putting together a big jigsaw puzzle very very slowly not knowing what the finished hmm. puzzle would look like it was just like okay this piece fits here this piece fits here oh it's starting to look like something zoom out a little and then just figuring it out along the way till we get it done so yeah i i i'm an obsessive person mm-hmm. i really needed to get this done um and quite frankly i didn't know what i would do if we didn't finish hmm. so that was a huge motivation that just just finish it because what else are you going to do now it's about 
where we can take the film and what we can do with it and we're figuring that out as well so it's constantly even though we hit all of these milestones mm. again which i'm very grateful for it's still something that we're discovering mm. so even though it seems like the journey is over the movie is done mm. huge milestone now where do we go from here so we're still figuring that out but the during i think during that long period of time 8 years ago jab main aapse mila tha you know i was not a fan of a lot more animation ek do maine shows dekhe hoge jo bachpan mein tv pe aate the but uh, during that 10 i think jo 8 years abhi guzre 2024 ke agar hum baat kare to a lot of people now are watching ab cinema mein lagti hai anime yeah. films and you know khas taur pe i saw demon slayer jujutsu kaisen unki bhi yahan lagi thi and i see ke log they are showcasing it to matlab 10 saal has it benefited you in this animation industry change i think that was an we didn't plan for that <laughs> but it's amazing that that happened mm. um i think people just in pakistan especially with the ease of access things like crunchyroll coming in mm. netflix obviously has a lot of anime and um mm. all of the stuff is uploaded there and with the internet becoming so widely accessible uh youtube opening up mm. so much uh because when i think when we started it was still it, it was, was still banned, banned. Ah. yeah so that was that long ago so i think with opening all of this up the audiences are more accepting of animation mm. like this and projects like this which is huge that mm. was not planned at all and i'm grateful that uh even though it took 10 years that the audience is primed for a film like this in pakistan mm. so i'm very grateful for that um for me i've loved this since i was a child so it's mm. cool to see other people loving it so much mm. as well so i i, I remember in 2016 when you showed and the, there was music involved and you know upon, among so many years you released so many teasers you yeah. know the music just hit me and i just started searching it on shazam ki matlab where do you find this music and then i saw this berkeley video where you yeah. where you do perform that whole uh, yeah. music there and that's that, blue moon waltz i performed that uh i think it was february 2014 mm-hmm. and then we uploaded it later i think march mm-hmm. but that was amazing that i wrote specifically we used it for a lot of glass worker promotion because mm. that was an orchestral ah. piece that i had ready and uh, we could just attach it to anything but it was mm. never meant for the glass worker oh. right so since we are talking about the glass worker let's talk about a lot of people and i've seen a lot of your interviews or her interview mein i've seen your different answer yeah ke, ke film ka budget kya hai mm. abhi tak log ye nahi jaan mm-hmm. pa rahe ke film ke budget kya hai to hum yeah. box office kaise estimate karenge So you want me to tell you the budget? Well, I remember Kickstarter was around mm. more than hundred k, and you've heard every single interview where I haven't told the budget. I've the last number that I've heard is around more than a million, and I'm not going to say it here either. I can't. <laughs> I can't. Uh, it's not my place to say, but it was a substantial chunk to do something like this. But remember, it was spread out over ten years. Hmm. Moving on, let's talk about a budget with our. Mm. You have already said, uh, but you know, man, the. अब क्या मतलब यू टॉक्ट अबाउट के एम अब फिल्म कम्प्लीट हो गई है एंड द न्यूज इज ऑलरेडी आउट के यू नो यू बिल्डिंग दिस वर्किंग ऑन दिस यूरोपियन फिल्म बट यू नो वट्स दी चैलेंजेस अड फॉर मानो इट सेल्फ एंड 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 मोर कमीशन प्रोजेक्ट्स आर कमिंग इन फॉर एनिमेशन सो दैट समथिंग दैट पीपल नीड टू फेमिलियराइज दम सेल्व विद इन देंस के इन एनी इंडस्ट्री especially in the film industry mm. and especially in the animation industry you scale up for a project and then you scale down mm. right now thankfully the glass worker is done and i got to work with amazing people so right now we're in the phase where we're just figuring things out and get it most importantly the most important thing is getting our energy back mm. because all of us especially khizr maryam and i were so tired from mm. doing every single thing for this film to mm. in order for it to even be released in pakistan mm. there's no giant uh, machine behind us getting this thing out mm. there it's primarily just us pushing it and going for the meetings and getting everything ready so that the film could be seen mm. so we've had to wear a lot of hats throughout the course of this production and what i want to do more than anything is take that hat off now put it on the side for a bit mm-hmm. remember what it's like to be alive and then move forward but to answer your question when i do get my energy back yes i would love to make another film but it's a miracle making one film and uh, but but do you plan to do work on people with other films who are building their own films and mano working with them building their animation if my if i'm tired i can't really make 
any calculated decision yet hmm. right now i'm still in glass worker uh getting it out there mode hmm. because the film yes it's come out in pakistan but we have a lot of other things that are happening behind the scenes that we have to make sure we give our attention to hmm. and do everything properly and then move forward well i was talking you know i wanted to talk about you know with the ip right hmm. so matlab jab you know whenever whenever i think about producing anything i think uh, i think talk about biggest uh, animation films or movies or tv shows you know probably they might not make a lot of money from box mm. office but you know they have a lot of merchandise the ip games coming out feature its mm. music whatever matlab do you, did you plan any building on that ip ke, you know what we going to do or you know maine shayad i don't have to work for the rest of my life because this ip is going to continue to work no because it never for an independent film like this it doesn't work like that mm. we don't have a giant studio behind us mm. that can facilitate all of those things when i said we're just a few people mm. trying to get this done i mean that there're just a few people who yes 250 people worked on this movie mm. but they were all artists that came and worked and then left in pakistan and internationally mm. there's no machine behind us helping us with all of these things so every single piece of merch that is out there which are the t-shirts or the posters or a few things here and there mm. we sat and like designed those ourselves and put them out there uh anything if you have lo- a lot of merchandise you you obviously need money to be put into that mm. to be able to push those products first make those products mm. and then advertise those products and push them out there we're an independent studio this mm. is an independent film we made the movie the best thing that people can do to support the movie mm. is go watch the movie and inshallah one day now uh, but i'm not refuting what you're saying because there is an ip now hmm. down the line maybe 10 15 years down the line if we make some hit uh some must take live action product now. or if someone wants the movie for something then it's a different conversation hmm. but the conversation right now is it's a miracle making one film it took a huge herculean effort to make this hmm. film and the best thing people can do to support it is just go watch it hmm. because that's what it's made for it's made to be watched in a theater um and and just enjoy it mm. yeah right so the film is out yeah any critics feedback that you feel i'm very grateful because the response has been overwhelmingly positive mm. and i was afraid that people in pakistan especially would maybe not truly appreciate the slower pacing of these types of stories mm. because this is a slow burn it mm. leads up to this climactic conclusion at the end of the film mm. uh, as opposed to action packed from mm. the start it follows the way the, the films that i love watching that sort of storytelling pacing mm. so i'm amazed that people are enjoying it and obviously at anesi which was again the animation festival that we premiered at and then all the other festivals i knew that the festival audiences were really enjoying it mm-hmm. and viewing it as something special mm-hmm. i was afraid in pakistan uh people n- not to say that they wouldn't appreciate it but it would just be a little too much and mm-hmm. i'm so grateful that the response has just been amazing and people are actually coming out of the theater and arguing amongst themselves mm. what it all means and and having di- uh, the, there's actual discourse going on about the movie mm. it's not just a simple story uh where everything is wrapped up with a little bow in the end and people can walk out feeling mm. something no they walk out with emotions and and having felt uh for the characters and wondering what happens next so that was very very cool mm. that i did not expect mm. but yes of course there's a lot of uh division on the ending the mm. ending is divisive but it was it was planned that way did that, you plan it from day one and you started of course i storyboarded the whole film All right so the ending was meant to be like that mm. and it's what you want it to be when you walk out but th- i'm not the first person to do that like and especially in studio ghibli Mm. like the wind rises the movie you don't know what happens in the end but mm. you walk out visually having not understood what has happened but what you feel mm. you know the character is at peace you know that in the case of the glass worker you you feel that vincent is now at peace as you walk out not spoiling it you haven't seen it yet <laughs> so don't worry i won't <laughs> give away anything right but i wanted to say bahut sare critics jo mujhe puchte hain and jo core anime fans hain wo yahi puch rahe hain ki you know या ये इंग्लिश में बनाई गई है उर्दू में डब की गई है या उर्दू में बनाई है और इंग्लिश में डब की गई है डबिंग वाले फैंस और सबिंग वाले फैंस का मसला है 
so the english version was not the original version hmm. the film started off as an urdu film hmm. and then when all of the international talent came on board they said let's switch to english because everyone will then understand what we're working on and it made sense to do that hmm. so we switched to english when we finished the film that's when i pulled the urdu uh just script back out and we refined it and then we dubbed the whole thing and moved forward there's no original version of the movie hmm. because it started off then you can say it started off as an urdu film so it's only an urdu film hmm. but no the, the english version and the urdu version are the definitive versions of the movie and the urdu version is not just a direct translation of the english version it's mm. a heavily localized mm. version where some lines in english just cannot work in urdu mm. and some lines in urdu cannot work in english so we we captured the nuance of the or tried to capture the nuance of what we were trying to get these characters to feel in the dialogues when you go for the film the two versions are actually i would say very different um mm. because there's <laughs> a there's a colloquial kind of context to the urdu that mm. nobody else apart from us in pakistan and of course in india uh, would understand mm. and then there's the english that obviously has universal understanding because so much content is in english so i don't know it's it, both are the definitive what's version. your favorite what's my favorite on the version my favorite version as a pakistani is of course the urdu version mm. because um it's it's interesting as a person who grew up watching these things mm. to 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 see that this is ours mm. uh, but i love the english version as a fan of animation as well because the the actors are just so phenomenal mm. and they did such a brilliant job that's why i i can't pick one like I, it's 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 like asking me um or asking a parent who How their favorite, favorite child is you can't right so you know we talked about uh, the film the tools mm-hmm. number of tools that you've used uh, i'm just talking about ki apne ai tools aa gaye you know basic imaging jab banda chal raha hai ya simple wo haath dho raha hai ya kuch kar raha hai basic i think iski matlab you know ki basic images ab render ho jati hai mm-hmm. what do you think about that ki future it would be easier see i think it's an inevitability you can't you can't fight it i mm-hmm. i know there's like of course like hayao miyazaki is heavily against it and mm-hmm. i completely agree with that viewpoint i i love drawing with my hands i love making things but i just i know it's coming and there's nothing i can do about it so i'm i would say i'm cautiously optimistic hmm. i want to see what is capable of i want to see right now what we've seen is extremely curated stuff hmm. like even the sora videos right. which are edited together hmm. again brilliantly done i think it looks amazing i mm. think generative ai is doing uh, some amazing things mm. i i just don't know yet we ne- i i think you need a few years to actually see what it's capable of doing and then start assessing uh how it affects mm. say what i do um but it's a regular part of my life i use uh chat gpt a lot i'm mm. sure so many people who have mm. a lot of things going on use that to organize their life it's a great tool to understand and learn things i think lar- the large language models are phenomenal and um let's just see where it goes right. I-, i don't want to have an opinion on it so this interview is prepared for the large language model i actually asked him do you know who usman riyad is said yes wow so other uh, <laughs> the That's language amazing. modules do know you That's and then amazing right? i did not i did and not i know told that. them you know i'm having him for the interview can you draft any questions <laughs> and like particularly ask yes ne bahut sare interviews diye hue hai oh wow like, wow and it did draft me yeah, a couple of smart effective use hmm. of the tool right uh, but towards the end uh, i think jo number one question hai you know uh, you inspired me to be to do what i want to do uh but you know a lot of students who are starting out right hmm. now or you know want to do something uh, what's your in- advice to them Hmm. What I would tell somebody who's about to embark on something extremely difficult mm. is it is going to get dif- uh, it is going to be tough. Mm. It is going to be challenging. Your passion will see you through a lot of those things, but there will reach a point where it's not enough and then you have to function purely on stubbornness and grit mm. to keep moving. There's this amazing Jeff Bezos quote that i've said a bunch of times but i just think it fits so well where he said uh focus on the vision but mm. be flexible on 
how you get there mm. and i think i didn't know this quote like i heard it a few months ago on social media but that's what i did with this i kept my goal the vision very clearly defined and i was extremely flexible on how we got there um so i would say that that be prepared for challenges if you truly love it you will see it through yeah. um and a lot of it is just faith it's a leap of faith yeah. you will not know it's a it's a plunge and you don't know when you're going to hit the ground mm-hmm. um i don't know if that made sense but i you get what i'm trying to say and i think yeah. you had a wonderful team your wife and your cousin being there for a very long period of time i think that's a huge plus point you know matlab families are the first people who doubt you matlab eventually jab, yeah. you know a long period of time families khas taur pe you know your life partner will start out but most of them were working with you you know i can't you. ever complain about that because it was just i'm so grateful and it i mean it's no secret working with family is amazing but also really difficult because mm. they know you so well but i have just had soft to them they showed so much resolve mm. and belief in this vision and like mariam obviously came up with the whole concept with me in the in mm. the beginning and then khizr coming on board and and just applying all of his business acumen and i mean to say he only did the business stuff is is unfair mm. because he's also an, a creative person so to have creative input and both mariam and khizr are way more organized than i am um but everyone just put their best into this project and i'm very grateful like mariam of course had to deal with this project never shutting off uh mm. because i thought about it obsessively for for 10 years mm. so just hats off mariam thank you <laughs> thank you for tolerating me and and i i'm very grateful to everyone all right like, you know thank you usman for thank joining you. in and thank all you. those who are watching i hope aapko episode pasand aaya and do start uh, going to the cinemas kyunki ab main ja raha hu finally <laughs> after 8 years of waiting so grass worker is streaming right now across pakistan so find the uh, nearest cinema and go to the films uh, i'll be joined to watch you and usman is joining in lahore as well next week yes so probably you'll meet him as well and see you next time allah